Hey everybody, it's CBCS time. What, what? What's up, everybody? This is Batman Fan. This is episode 64, and this is CBCS time. I've got one box, two boxes, three boxes, and a fourth box. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So, um, what I'm going to do, I don't have any idea what the grades are. I will tell you that I, um, in the one of the emails, I was trying to read all the information. I think I've seen one of the grades on one of them. But other than that, I don't know any of them. So, I'm going to remove all this stuff, and then we will go comic by comic. And I will do my darndest not to see what the grade is. And then I am going to guess what they are. We'll see how this works out. Alright, so I'm going to use my Wonder Woman poster that I got. Um, to use as a uh, little bit of a uh, you know shield, if you will. So the first one that I've opened up is Batman 181. Okay, I am gonna guess this one to be uh, let's say a four a four O, and in my dreams a five, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a three O or three point five either. So let's just see what it is. It is a 4.5. Hey, not bad, not bad, not bad. So this is a 4.5. This is the first appearance of Poison Ivy. Um, it's a Batman and Robin centerfold pinup. It's in there. So I'm really happy that the centerfold is in there. Sometimes that's one of the things that uh, are missing. Um, so it's really, really nice to have that. Nice, 4.5. I'm happy with that. That's good. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Oh, Sweet, sweet, sweet. Ooh, I see that red label, so it got verified. Uh, this is the Black Mirror 871, signed by Scott Snyder. I am going to guess this comic to be a 9... I got this off of eBay. I'm going to say it's a 9.4. If it's any higher than that, I think it could be, but I really hope it's not any lower than that, so I'll say 9.4. Ooh. Not a eight. Look at that. What's up? Yes. I knew it was nice, but I couldn't remember how nice it was. Nine eight. That is awesome. That is awesome, man. That really makes my day. Uh, and it is a verified signature. And it is uh, Scott Snyder. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful storyline right here. I cannot encourage you enough to get the trade paperback or get the books and read this storyline. Okay, next one. I, I have no idea what's coming up, so we'll just go. Oh, this is Superman. I think it's 204. Okay, um, I, th I bought this one at Hastings. I got it for half a cover. I am going to guess that this is a, uh, let's say 9.2. It could go higher, but I think a 9 to 9.2 would be uh, good for me. 9 -0. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, that is, I mean, this thing, it was still sitting in the bins from 2004, and I picked this up maybe at the latter part or middle of last year. So I might have had this in my possession for a year. So not bad for only spending a dollar for this. I spent a dollar twenty-five, I think, on this. So not bad at all. And it's just an iconic cover. So let's see what the next one is. Um, my turnaround time on this was they were received on February 1st, and today is April 7th, and I got them in today. Oh, this is the counterpart right here. I found this comic book at a half-price books. No bag, no board, just sitting in a bin. So with seeing this last one graded at a 9, I know it sort of scares me. So I'll be ha oh, Lord, it's going to be in the 8s. I just have that feeling. But we'll see. I'd be happy with a matching number, really. But um, anything. Ugh, let's just get to it. 8 -0. Man, I knew it. Dead gummit. I knew once this other one graded out at uh, a 9-0, this one would be 
um, not that high grade, but it's still it'll still really display well. Um, sort of bummed about the grade that stinks, but I mean literally I paid a dollar twenty, a dollar twelve for that, so they still really display well. I'm not happy about the grade, but I'm glad I got it graded if that makes sense. Okay, I'll cut and uh, get the next box. Okay, so um, this next one, I've already seen that this is one of my, I believe it's the Silver Age Batman. I did not see the grade though, so um, we'll take a look at it real quick. This is just a really, really cool cover. And it's back whenever Detective Comics was going into space and stuff. Uh, this is not an extremely nice copy, so I would guess this one to be um, a three, three and a half. Three and a half, right on the money. I, I feel good about my grading skills so far. I don't know. Um, I still I love that cover, man. This is one of my first. Uh, this is from 1958. This is one of my first um, really old. Um, Batman comic that I grabbed, so um, not bad. I mean, it's an eBay buy. I didn't buy it off of uh, like in person or anything, so I'm, I'm good with that. I've done okay with my grading so far as well, so I'm fairly confident in that so far. Um, oh, all right. This one is a Woody Woodpecker, and it's actually signed by Walter Lance. It's signed right down there at the bottom right. I'll show it to you here in just a second, but uh, Walter Lance passed away numerous years ago, so uh, he signed it on the cover as well, which is very rare for uh, people to do back uh, in the early days of signing comics. So um, I would guess this comic to be, looking at it again, I would guess it to be in the 4-5 or 5 or five range. It's got some tanning to it, but I still think it's pretty sharp, so um, I would guess it to be a 5. Oh, it was a six. Awesome. Um, I always like to guess a little bit lower just in case, but uh, it is a pretty sharp book. Let me show you the uh, Walter Lance, which is the, uh, he is the creator of Woody Woodpecker. There's nothing else significant about this book. It's just that, oh, don't fail me. I don't want to see the grade. Don't fall down on me, Gal Gadot. Uh, but there is the, sorry about the glare. There is the Walter Lance signature. And it is verified. Sweet from 1961. Just a really cool piece of uh, history to have, if you will. So the next one, I did not. Oh, okay, I closed my eyes. I didn't see it. Y'all seen it, but I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I start shrieking. Okay, this is a terrible shape. It's terrible shape, but it's the first Silver Age appearance. It's like the first appearance since like way back in the Golden Age. It's like World's Finest number three and then one of the other Detective Comics. It's the first appearance of the Scarecrow. So uh, I'm going to guess this one is a 2.5. Oh, it's a 3 -oh. Okay, no big shocks there, no surprises. Um, I knew this was a low-grade copy, but this was one that I got in a Super Buy one time for a bunch of Batman comics. So I am completely cool and okay with that grade. Um, doesn't hurt my feelings. Really cool. Glad to have that. So far, I still feel pretty confident about my grading. Okay, this is the second appearance of uh, Poison Ivy. I would guess this one to be a four, five, a five, maybe. Ah, four. Okay, but that's still okay. It's the second appearance of uh, Poison Ivy. I think my, I'll have to go back and watch the video, but I think my actual first appearance of Poison Ivy graded higher. I can't remember the ton of comics. So I'll be right back with more comics. Okay, this, this is the one I think I've actually seen the grade on this, but this is a, I found this for like five bucks in a bin at a convention. And uh, I seen that it was signed by Bernie Wrightson. So, I was like, man, let me jump at this. I think it graded a 4.5. I think I accidentally snuck a peep. Not intentionally, just, it just happened. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord, I was wrong. Holy crap. Holy crap. This thing graded an 8.5. Oh, my gosh. I picked this buck. I picked this thing up for like five bucks or seven or eight. It wasn't very much. I just found it in a bin and it's 
It's a verified signature of Bernie Wrightson, and it graded a, a bleeping 8.5. Holy crap. That's pure emotion, folks, that you don't get. Like, you don't get that just like whenever you've already seen your grades and, and then you start showing your, your, your comics. I cannot uh, stress to you enough. Like, don't, don't look at your grades. Man, this is wow. I didn't even, like, evaluate it. I just thought I seen it was a 4.5. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be a 4.5, and bam. Holy crap. So, man, that like, makes my day, man. It makes the 8.0 uh, Batman sort of go away. Um, all right. Sweet, dude. That is so awesome. All right, let's look at the next one. Ooh. This is one of the uh, key covers right here. Neil Adams, baby. Um, this is not a high-grade copy, so I would think that this one's going to go a, a 3.5 or a 4.0. Um, I'd be very shocked or surprised if it went any higher than that. 3.5. All right, sweet. Oh, that's exactly what I thought it was. Um, so no harm, no foul. But still, it'll still look awesome. I spent very, very little money on this. So, um, yeah, I'm completely cool with that. That is, I think I spent like 48 or 50 bucks on it. So that and the grading, man, that is awesome. All day. All day, every day. Okay. The next one, oh, this is my really, really nice copy of Detective Comics. This one is a very crisp, uh, corners, very nice. Um, ah, man, I, 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 on my original CBCS video, I talked about this one. I thought it was going to be really uh, a pretty decent grade. Uh, I'm going to go for a 6.5 or a 7 on this one. 7. All right, awesome. Um, this is the first appearance of the Crystal Creature, this guy right here. Um, oh wow, I didn't know this. Um, it's saying that it's got an amateur restoration. Very small amount of color touch on cover. I, I guess it's on there somewhere. I don't know where that's at, but, um, this is from 1959. So to have a 7.0 comic from 1959 is just, uh, extraordinary. And I believe, I believe I found this in a bin at an antique shop. I, I, I think I don't think I bought this off of eBay. I could have, but I think I might have found this out in the wild. So, 70 out in the wild from 1959 is uh it's absolutely wild. So, let's see what this next one is. Okay, this is The Death of Robin. And this is not like a super nice copy. So, I would guess this at the 4. Eh, I'll do 4. I'll say a 4. A 5. All right. Um, this is the first appearance of the Ant-Man, uh, Jumbo Carson, and hey, look at there, baby. It says classic cover right there. I mean, who can doubt that? It's a classic cover. So, um, really cool. Uh, really beautiful cover as well. It is a uh, Sheldon Modoff or Shelly as he goes by it's a, uh, cover. So, really, really awesome. 5.0. I'll be right back. This is my last box of comics. Okay, I apologize in advance. I'm already at the 13 minute plus, you know, whatever my intro is. So this is probably going to go a little bit longer than what I like to be at, which is 15 minutes. Uh, oh, this is my very first Golden Age comic book that I ever bought. Um, this is Detective Comics 116. Uh, I am going to say that this is a, I'm really firm at a 2.5 or a 3.0. Ooh, 2.0. Uh Cover reattached to first wrap with two large pieces of tape. Um, small piece of tape on interior cover of spine. Um, meh, what are you going to do? It's from 1946. Um, I think I spent like 50 or 60 bucks on this originally. I bought this probably about five or six years ago at least. Um, but it's got Robin Hood in there, Friar Tuck, Little John, and Maid Marian appearance. Uh, it's a dream sequence. He has a dream and he goes back. Uh, to Sherwood Forest, if you will. So, um, ah, man, I'd have liked to have seen a three, but I understand why it's that that great. But it, it holds it holds value to me because it is my first Golden Age book I purchased. 
or at least my first Golden Age Batman book. Okay, the next one is Batman number 70, as I believe what this is. I would say that we're still going to be right there around a... Uh, now that I'm seeing... Uh, I'll do a 2.0 to 3.5. Oh, Lord. 1.8. Uh, it is from 1952. and it's, The cover really displays pretty well, but uh, there is some... What looks like to me tape but maybe not that they didn't document it if it was um but it has a penguin's appearance and um a robot cover um i think this is the first appearance of the robot cop of gotham city so batman number 70 from 1952 and another golden age book i've only got one more book um i see that it has been verified um, this one is in rough shape um i just wanted it because it's signed by john romita and I have the matching books as seen here. So you've seen the matching books, you know what's coming up. I would grade this at probably a 3.0 or maybe three and a half, but maybe, I don't know. But it is signed by John Romita, and it's a 4.0. All right, good deal. So you've seen the matching um, covers I have. This is the Book and Record set. It's signed by John Romita. It is a cover swap, obviously, of the first appearance of the Man Wolf. And uh, this is J. Jonah Jameson, I believe is his name. It's his son, who's the Man Wolf. So anyways, all in all, that is a ton of books I just did. And I'm, I'm fairly confident with my grading that I've done um, I, I feel good about that um, I usually try to be a little bit conservative but I'm still okay with where I guessed books to be at y'all may have a different opinion everyone's entitled to theirs but I'm still um, really happy with where I guessed it at the shock of this video for me um, was the 8.0 uh, 8.5 .8 Bernie Wrightson Swamp Thing that is a that's a huge shock to me. Um, the disappointment of this video is the Batman 608 uh, second print. Uh, it's an 8.0. I know I found it out in the wild. I got it for half a cover. Um, and it was not in a bag and board, but it still displays really well. So it is what it is. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up in a nice little bow. Um, I still have somewhere out there uh, over the rainbow or wherever the heck it is. I still have CGCs that are signed by Greg Capullo and Dan, uh, Danny Mickey that are supposed to be coming in at some point. So uh, until next time, bats all folks. <laughs>